The social effects of the coronavirus in my country, Ecuador, have been devastating, in particular for women and the most impoverished and vulnerable sectors of society. Emergency measures that place entire cities under curfew and demand that people stay at home are inconsistent with the reality of the majority of people. In Ecuador, 46% of the population finds work in the informal sector, meaning that many must confront the painful dilemma of enduring hunger or risking their lives to provide for themselves and for their families. In the face of this, the government response has been ineffective and discriminatory, causing a humanitarian crisis in the city of Guayaquil, where dead bodies claimed by their loved ones were piled up for days and deprived of a dignified burial. The payment of more than $325 million in foreign debt and the deinvestment in key sectors such as public health and education, announcing a budget cut of more than $98 million for public universities and the possible termination of government-funded scholarships accompanied by repressive and punitive measures against those who have been forced to the streets are likely to increase socioeconomic inequalities and rob younger generations of their future. In Ecuador, the sanitary emergency is being used as an excuse to dismantle social welfare institutions, curtail human rights, and condemn the most vulnerable to precarious living and working conditions for years to come.